If you've been looking for a way to play your favorite Wii U games off of a USB drive on your system with no disc needed, you've landed on the right video. I'm about to teach you everything it takes to get this done step by step so you can play your own Wii U games on your system your way. Stick around, you're about to learn something new. You'll need to have a jailbroken Nintendo Wii U for this process to work. I have a link for you in the video description if you need to get yours done. You'll need the SD card that you use to run the mod for your Wii U system, probably Tiramisu, and it needs at least 30 gigabytes of free space on the card. You'll also need USB storage to store your games. You can use up to two terabytes worth of storage. If you use an external hard drive rather than an external USB drive, you'll need to power that external hard drive externally. Okay, the first thing you'll need to download is called the WUDD software, or what I'm gonna refer to moving forward as WUD. I do live in the Southern United States after all. Scroll down on this page until you see the Assets section. Inside the Assets section, you'll find a link that has RPX in the title of the zip file. That's the one you want to click on and download, as Wii U needs these RPX files to run correctly. You'll also need to download what's called the WUP Installer GX2 software. I'll be calling this one WUP. It's linked in the description, but don't click on the green download box shown here. This is important. Instead of clicking the green box, click the Links tab that's directly underneath the green box. This takes you to a separate section of the website. Scroll down underneath this green box also. There are some files linked here. You want to download the most recent version that has the letters HBL and HBC listed in it. That's for Homebrew Launcher, Homebrew Channel. Click on that link, give the website a moment to get the hamster in the wheel running, and the file will be downloaded to your computer. Cool, let's get these downloads dealt with. Both of them are in zip file format and need to be extracted. You can go ahead and extract these folders into their default locations. Once you extract each of these zip files, you can delete the zip file to just get the clutter out of the downloads folder. Right on, this will just leave you with the newly uncompressed two folders inside your downloads folder. We'll need to go into these folders to transfer some items onto your Wii U's SD card. I'm gonna move the file explorer window with the downloads folder onto the left side. I'll insert the SD card from the Wii U and then move this file explorer window over to the right side. Take note that the only folder you see here is a Wii U folder. We're gonna merge some files into it. First up, go into the WUD folder. Double click into it and you'll see a subfolder in here that's named Wii U. All you have to do with this is just drag and drop it onto the root of your SD card. Just don't drag it into the Wii U folder, drag it onto the root of the SD card. The files will be merged together. Go back to the Downloads folder, and this time go into the WUP folder. Double click into that folder and you'll find a Wii U folder. Grab that Wii U folder and drag and drop it directly under the root of the SD card to merge the files together. Okay, you're done with your computer for now. You can close out any open instances of File Explorer in Windows, insert the SD card into the front of your Nintendo Wii U, and power on your system. Once you're at the main menu of the Wii U, insert your USB storage into one of the USB ports on the back of the system. A pop-up message will notify you that you need to format your USB storage. Do make sure there's nothing you need to save on there first. I'm using a Wii mode in the pointer just to make things a little easier to follow during the video. Select Format in the bottom right corner, then at the confirmation prompt that appears in red, select Format again. This way it takes care of formatting your storage right there on the console. Cool. Select OK to continue and your Wii U will be soft restarted. If you're using the Tiramisu mod for your Wii U like I am in this example, you'll need to go to Me Maker in order to launch the Homebrew Launcher. So in this instance, I'll click on Me Maker. This will open up the Homebrew Launcher so that we can launch the two applications you copied over to the SD card. Since there's more than one application installed on the Wii U's SD card, I'm going to click over to the right to locate WUD. Once you find WUD, click on it and then click on Load to load WUD for the first time. The purpose of WUD is to create an installable backup of a Wii U disk. So go ahead and insert the Wii U disk of your choice into your system. In this case, it's going to be Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. To navigate WUD, you'll need to transition over to the Wii U gamepad. Two important things to make note of here before starting. First, make sure that you have this set to SD rather than the NTFS USB. You'll need to create this installable backup of your disk on the SD card or this process doesn't work. Of the dump disk choices, you want to make sure that you choose the one that says dump partition to dot app. Move the highlight arrow to it with the D-pad and select it with the A button. What will spin up your disk, identify its content, and give you the option to choose the partition that you want to dump. In this case, you want to choose the partition that has the actual game on it, in this case, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Make sure the highlight arrow has the game partition selected, then press the A button to continue. 
Depending on the game that you've inserted, the amount of time that it takes to create this installable backup varies. This game is 11 gigabytes, so it took a little while. Once all of the contents of your game disk have been dumped into an installable app format, you'll see a confirmation message on screen. Press the A button to continue. You're done with what at this point? Press the home button on the Wii U pad to go back to the homebrew launcher. You'll need to remove the SD card from your Wii U system to perform some file and folder management. First, power off your Wii U system, and then remove the SD card from the front of the system. Back on your PC, insert your SD card into the reader. The game you just backed up is saved in a folder called WU Dump. To get things sorted correctly, you'll need to create a new folder right on the root of the SD card and name this folder install, I-N-S-T-A-L-L, -L, and you can make it in all lowercase letters. You'll need to transfer your backed up game folder and files into the install folder. Here's how that's done. Go to the WU Dump folder and double click into it. You'll find a subfolder in here that starts with WUP and an alphanumeric code description that represents your game. Double click into that. The folder that has this crazy long alphanumeric string is your game backup. Here's what I recommend. Right click on it, pick show more options, and pick cut. From here, go all the way back to the root of your SD card. Remember how you created this install folder here? Locate that folder and double click into it. From here, you can right click inside the install folder and select paste. This moves that game backup folder from where it was to where it needs to be without creating a second backup of it and wasting space on your SD card. You can also save this on your computer if you'd like to create a library of your backed up games. You're done with your SD card and your computer at this point. You can close out File Explorer, insert the SD card back into your Wii U, and power on your Wii U system. From the Wii U Home menu, navigate back up to Me Maker and launch it again so that you can access the Homebrew Launcher. From here, you'll need to launch the WUP Installer GX2 software. Located inside the Homebrew Launcher, select it with A, and select Load with the A button to launch the application. And you'll find that there's not a darn thing you can do to run this software from your television screen. The whole thing takes place on the Wii U gamepad. You'll find that folder with that really long alphanumeric character name to it. Tap on the folder to select it. You'll see a colored marker on the side to confirm that you've selected it. You like my marker stylus, by the way? Spared no expense. Once you have it selected, tap on Install. You'll be prompted to confirm whether or not you want to install the game. No sense going this far and not putting it on your Wii U, I guess. Tap on Yes to continue. Okay, pay close attention here. You're going to be asked whether you want to install the game to your System NAND or USB. System NAND is your Wii U's internal storage, and USB, of course, is the removable USB drive you put in the back of your system. Since this guide's about putting games on USB, I'm going to tap on USB here to continue. You'll see a status bar on your Wii U gamepad indicating the progress of the installation. And check this out. There's also a status indicator bar on the television now, too. Nice. Once the installation process is complete, you'll see a confirmation message on the Wii U gamepad. You can tap on OK to continue. By the way, if you're worried about that really long alphanumeric string there being the name of the game on your Wii U, don't worry, it's going to work out fine. Alright, you are done with the WUP Installer GX2 software. Press the home button on the Wii U gamepad, and you'll be taken back to the homebrew launcher. Press the home button on the Wii U gamepad again, and you'll actually be taken back to the Mii Maker launch screen because remember, we launched the homebrew launcher from inside Mii Maker. Press the home button again, and you'll see a prompt on the left center side of the screen to close the software. Select it to close out Mii Maker and go back to the Wii U home menu. And what you'll find is that a new channel and icon have been added to your Wii U's main menu. Check this out, if you hover over the channel icon, you'll see that it didn't name it that strange looking alphanumeric character, it named it Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Select the icon to launch the game, install any updates that you wish, and you'll be brawling like a champ in no time. Hey, by the way, do you still need to get your Nintendo Wii U jailbroken to be able to make all of this work? This video guide shown on screen and linked in the description and pinned comment will help you get this done in just a matter of minutes. I look forward to seeing you over there in that video.